Welcome back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Jason from the Mass and Drum, while I was up there doing those videos, several of we have released conversations with whiskey drinkers, mm. that uh, he poured this for me and then he was like, here, why don't you just take that home with you? What a sweetheart. Yeah, finally getting around to uh, reviewing it here, but this is uh, K. Luke. It is mm -hmm. their Cabernet finish. Yeah, and this is cast strength, so it's 121.6 proof, mm -hmm. uh, a blend of Kentucky and Indiana sourced. So we don't know exactly which distillery it's coming from, but or we do. Or distilleries. Or distilleries. Mm -hmm. we, we have a pretty good idea, I think, with the Indiana, but the Kentucky is kind of a- <laughs> Kentucky's more of a- a question mark, yeah. But the Cabernet finish, I mean, man, you can really see it. It is red. It is red. Yeah. So Jonathan over at uh, K. Luke, that, that's their whole thing is, you know, sourcing different barrels from uh, Indiana and Kentucky and, and different mash bills, blending them together. They do have non um, I was gonna finished. Ask about finished yeah, yeah non-finished. Those things are usually around $100. Uh, this particular one that's finished is uh, one, 130? 140? 140? For a full-size bottle? Yeah. For a full-size bottle. This is just a sample. Okay. Yeah, so that'd be for a 750 uh, yeah, milliliter bottle. Oh man, that mm -hmm. is chocolate mm -hmm. cherry, it's rich. rich chocolate <laughs> cherry, like triple chocolate cake. Death by chocolate. Death, yeah. Okay. Death by cherry chocolate. Cherry chocolate. Super rich. There's some oak in there. Maybe a little bit of like tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of. This smells like it would pair nicely with a cigar, if you're into that. For sure. That's what you're into. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Caramel. The the cherry bomb. Brown the, sugar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Brown sugar. Just. Uh, oof. Nose right. is really nice. It's really nice. To your health. My palate was not ready for 121.6. <laughs> the last thing I had was like. 92, 92 proof. It's quite a jump. It is. I'm gonna need a second sip. But wow. Oh man, the oak on that. Wow. And the, oh, I like how the wine doesn't take over too mm -hmm. much. It really plays in the middle. It's almost like a root beer note, like a Bart's got Bart's got bite, Bart's has bite, type of thing. Hmm. Okay. Bart's root beer. I could see like this. Um, uh, what is it? Sarsaparilla. Yeah. The root beer note mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. Give me a sarsaparilla. Or like a cherry coke. Or Dr. Pepper syrup or something like that. Cherry Coke slushy, because it's got that yeah, concentrated yeah. syrup, yeah, for sure. Ooh. You know, medium to medium long finish. Mm -hmm. I, I'm ready for my next one, but it has traveled, yep, into that uh, bi-state hug. <laughs> Can't really say Kentucky hug. A dual state hug. Dual state I hug, know. yeah. Hmm. All right, one more. Before we do, Sarah. Oh, Before okay. we do. I'm gonna let it sit there. Because we're gonna tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the t-shirts that we are wearing. My uh, hat that I'm wearing, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, our water glass as well. In fact, all of our uh, glassware, including our mini glens and our new Glen Cairn uh, tasting kit is there uh, as well. Bottle cut candles, more always coming soon. That's whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we release our exclusive barrel picks, discounts on that merch, depending on your tier, after the episode, exclusive content with us and more. All right, now normally we say we're gonna let it sit here in the glass for 10 minutes, but you know, it's been in this bottle forever. I think it's gotten its proper amount of air. Okay. Let's just get back into it. Oh, yeah. This is some powerful stuff. <laughs> it is. Super oaky. The Cabernet plays in there so well. It's mm -hmm. not too wine forward. It's not super sweet. I love the cast strength playing with that wine finish. It's a lot of oak. For me, it's almost too much. Oh, really? But that's me. I have a lower thresh. Huh. Threshold okay. for oak. It's good. It's still, it's on the good side still. Okay. But it's getting there. Wow, I would um, have never even have, uh, mm. have thought that. Yeah, I think one of the reasons why I said root beer is because it also has some type of a carbonated note to it. Almost like it's effervescent. Like you like get a, a lot of times in rye, and I wonder if this is a high rye. I know from looking up K. Luke that they, you know, go up uh, as far as 36% rye in some of their, you know, bourbon mash bills. Um, so maybe it is a higher rye, but yeah, I get that almost, almost like fizzy bubbles, um, you know, fizzy. Uh, on the on the tongue, and, yeah. and I I like that experience because you don't get that super often in bourbons or finished whiskeys. It almost reminds me of like a cherry coke float. Mouthfeel wise, you know, it's getting like double the oak from both the wine cask, the original cask, and it's also barrel proof, so we've got a lot in there, and I feel like it's making it a little dry on the finish. Um, hmm. Just a little, it leaves me wanting water, but I think with like a couple drops of water, this would actually be really nice. Okay, yeah. um, I might try it, I don't you know. You can try it. For me, you know, you were saying you have a lower oak threshold, I have a lower dry whiskey threshold, 
But I gotta say, I wasn't really picking up the the dryness. Um, I think maybe the, uh, the effervescence <laughs> up there was was keeping me entertained or I mean, whatever. I just have like a quarter of an ounce here, so I just put three drops in to see what it does. Yeah. What I would love to pair this with would be some dark chocolate. I think this would go great with some dark chocolate. Mm. Yeah, I really still think that this would go well with a cigar. Uh, if you are into that or some dark chocolate, I would, I think something like a chocolate cake or something that's a little light and fluffy because this is so bold and heavy. I think those would pair well together, but you need something that's not double heavy, right? Like if you have mm -hmm. super rich chocolate cake and this, I think it's gonna be too weighed down. I think if you have yeah. like a light fluffy chocolate something. Sarah, what's that uh, chocolate cake called? Like currant, black currant? Am black I'm... forest cake? Black forest cake, okay. Yeah. I don't know where the current. Yeah, that's, I don't make many black forest cakes, but my idea of a black forest cake is chocolate cake with whipped cream as like the frosting mm -hmm. and uh, cherries what? and chocolate shavings. Yeah, the cherries is probably where, where I was. Yeah, that's what tying, I think. Tying those together. It's something like mm. that with like the whipped topping, yeah. I think would be the nice lightness to go with something like this. I'm gonna say sands water. I, I, I don't really I agree. love I, what the water I don't love what the water did, did to it. Yeah, maybe if it had more time to sit and mellow um, with some water, but just dropping it in and, and take, you know, which you should let it have time to hmm. to marry, but. I do enjoy this. I would like to try their non-finished stuff just to see what mm -hmm. that's like. But overall, I mean, I would I would happily drink this again. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it is um, you know, a little higher on, on the price, but it's good to see that it's delivering. Um, you know, we always say there's a, a sourced tax, right? You, you pay a little bit more when things are sourced. When it is a finished, Call it the finish tax. So, the, on paper, there is a, a reason, and also cast strength, why it is that price. And it's good that it's backed up with some really good flavors, right. and I really do enjoy it. So, if you're gonna go out with that higher price, it needs to it needs be to able deliver. to have and, a reason to have delivered. And it is. Yeah. yeah, it delivers. It is. So, there we go. That's where we better leave it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos that are down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Jason. Until next time drink more bourbon.